and we're back at the marine farm uh, anchorage place so uh, here we we um, will we um, like wait out the wind so it uh, calm down a bit We have been using this old uh, dinghy sail as an anchor sail uh, the past uh, few times that so we have anchored in quite hard winds. But this night we realized that the sail is way too big for the 30 knot gusts that we had this night. So we're making it smaller. And uh, hopefully that will uh, reduce some of the force in the sail and uh, reduce uh, the rigging pumping back and forth because that is uh, not good for the rigging and uh, not good for our sleep either. I'm the one at the sewing machine. Um, I have never um, like sewn a sail before. I have done some small canvas work, uh, but not sail. So we tried to copy the reinforcements and stuff on uh, the previous uh, sail, and uh, yeah, try to do as as like as possible. We will see if we, if it holds up in the 30 knots gusts. Uh, because we cut down the sail. Uh, in that seam, we had to take off the old leech uh, with all, yeah, these old hinges. So uh, we instead attach uh, like a webbing uh, instead of this uh, like brass hinges. Uh, this is also good because you cannot like be in damage of them, so you you cannot get injured since they are very soft. So we've done that with all ends, which is soft webbing instead. We're now finished with the uh, anchor sail, I hope. Uh, we have cut down and uh, like a small dinghy jib uh, from three uh, square meters to two. Uh, we just cut it in one of the seams. So uh, yeah, now it's one square meter uh, less and that's more uh, yeah typical anchor sail size for our boat so hopefully it uh, will turn out good we hoist the sail in the backstay using some shackles a denima rope and the main halyard The sheeting point is as close to the center line of the boat as possible. This is solved by a low friction ring by the mast. The anchor sail works by pushing the aft of the boat in the opposite direction of the bow in each gust, keeping the bow as much as possible into the wind. For Linnea this makes a lot of difference as she otherwise sails a lot at the anchor, creating unnecessary large forces on the boat and the anchor. The anchor sail reduces these forces as it minimizes the swinging from side to side, reducing the risk of something breaking and also making it more comfortable down below. Can you see how the wind is filling the sail from side to side? The anchor sail is up and overall it's very successful uh, sewing session today. Um, it doesn't uh, hinder the movement as much as the old one did, but there's definitely less tension and uh, all in all less noise in the boat. So um, uh, it's doing its thing, it's keeping us more up it to the wind and um, it uh, looks like it uh, 
will hold in this uh, really really bad weather so uh, thumbs up and now it's time for dinner Living at Anchorage, where we uh, seek some shelter when it was uh, blowing so hard, about up to 40 knots. We had at the most, and now we're going to one of the national park uh, islands, just eight miles from here. Uh, hopefully, it will be a nice anchorage and a nice place to uh, throw the hook. It looks quite dark to uh, get to this island uh, today. Uh, we just got a message from uh, another Swedish boat, uh, Estel. Um, they just arrived to uh, the supposed anchorage and it's full of uh, fishing gear. So they didn't find a good spot to anchor and we are three boats heading there today. So we are uh, discussing what uh, our plan B should be. Um, we have seen boats on the AIS anchor there before, so we didn't think it would be a problem and we didn't think it was allowed to fish like that in a nature reserve. But, yeah. The Norwegian boat tried to drop their anchor uh, outside the island but uh, they ended up uh, way too close to shore if uh, they were going to stay clear of the fishing nets. So uh, we are all going to the next Ria instead. Kind of pity, I had to uh, read the rules again because you apply for special permits to anchor at the, these nature reserve islands. and. Uh, the second point in uh, the rules that you get with the permission is that uh, fishing is uh, strictly prohibited within the uh, area for the nature reserve. So, um, well, um, hopefully the next Fria is uh, well protected and uh, a nice spot as well. And uh, we can actually do some sailing. All crew ready for tacking. I'm tacking in five, four, three, two, one. Tacking. done for the night before heading out to the CS Islands, another part of the Galicia Atlantic Islands National Park. So it was a good stay and then it was just a short trip here. So now we will walk around and uh, see um, see what it looks like.
We hiked up to the south tip of the island. Unfortunately, the last part of the road up to the lighthouse was closed due to construction, so we couldn't go all the way. But the view from here was still pretty epic. Thanks for following along on our sailing trip. If you'd like to help us keep developing these videos, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and give the video a thumbs up. Until next time, fair winds everyone, and see you soon.